it's, man, these scammers are getting more and more clever and cunning with each and every day. So this is setting the bar story. It's an example of what not to do or a situation we hope doesn't happen to you. Yeah, this could be that uh, specifically. So if you can manage to make it through the day without falling for a bank scam and then stripping for them on FaceTime, then you're doing okay. Why are we stripping for someone on FaceTime? Yeah, to this begin is with? so bizarre. All right, out of Ohio, these um, scammers convinced this woman that they were customer service for her bank. And there had been fraudulent activity. She's going to need to transfer six grand to another account. Literally followed, like, had her on the phone while she withdrew money, took it to another bank oh and God. deposited into to another account. Oh, my God. And this was all over the phone. And then they said that they needed to verify her identity and do a full body scan and a full body scan and had her stripped down on uh facetime her spidey senses weren't tingling about the fact that your bank doesn't know what you look like naked and then when she did that's when it she realized it was a scam because they started laughing and how, how she, old is it she? Was, it was too too. I, I don't know. It does. They they don't say the age. They don't say the age. But but here is the oh, uh, he, here is the director of the um, Department of Consumer Affairs kind of talking about this. Even if you get a text, phone call, it doesn't matter. Just hang up the phone. Yes. And think about how you could independently verify what they're saying. Yeah. Yes. When we're panicked, we're not able to focus on that part of our brain that gives us real information or helps us think rationally. It's almost like money laundering in a weird way, but it's like you want, they want you to take your cash from the bank and then they want you to put it in this and then they want you to transfer it to that or take cash and put it into a crypto, you know, uh, ATM. Um, it, it gets real convoluted. Yeah, so she's saying basically they, they talk fast, they confuse you with a bunch of different things, and all of a sudden you're you're down six grand. And unfortunately, there's nothing the bank can do. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah, I mean, they were like, hey, that you withdrew it. Oh, boy. And you, oh, boy. Like, you withdrew it, and you took it and deposited it. Like, okay, we, so best practice. If you get a call like this, and there's any doubt there is any issue with your bank account, you go to your local branch. Yeah, hang up. And to, hang yeah, up. Yeah. Go to, the, <laughs> right. go to the local branch, say, hey, I got this call, just want to make sure everything was okay with the account. That kind I of mean, stuff. they wanted to do a full body scan, and so I started to take my clothes hey, off. do you guys and... do full body scans <laughs> for identification purposes? I mean, that is absolutely bizarre. Like, so. like the fact that this woman actually disrobed and, and nothing made her think before taking off her clothes. Wait a second. Yeah. Like why, why my did... bank doesn't know what I look like <laughs> naked. So how would, why would they need to see that now? They don't already have a blueprint, a blueprint of my naked body to judge against to make sure I am who I say I am. Wouldn't right? that be a funny process here in the future? Oh, uh, no, I'm out. Hi, I need to open up a savings account. Okay, All take right, off take clothes. off your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the point where I go off the grid. That's where I start stashing my money in, in under, a, uh, under mattress. mattress. Yeah, All I go right. live in the woods. I'm out. All right, so again, setting the bar. Uh, we, you know, we say this because it can happen quick, and you don't think it can happen to I'm you. I'm stunned that she actually took her clothes yep. off. Yep. I'm stunned. So if you can I'm manage stunned. to make it through the day without falling for a bank scam and then stripping. She had to have been 80. Then you're doing okay. 85. Bless her heart. That is your setting the bar story. Oh, my God.